Hello out there, all you happy murder apes. And today, uh, somebody with the abbreviation IO has sent me this Starlink 802.3 BT adapter. Take a picture of this now, because you can do an image search for that picture on AliExpress and on Amazon. You can simply take a picture of that and use the image search. You can also use Google image search to find this device, okay? So what is this? This is specifically for Starlink. Actually, here, I'm gonna zoom in a little bit more. I don't care if you guys are getting sick. All right, there you go. So look at this. This is a passive PoE injector, just like many others from many other companies, Planet make them, Tycon make them, look them up, everybody makes these, ALGCOM. Now, this one's specifically for Starlink. And something which I should get out of the way before anything else is, look at this. The difference between regular 802.3 BT PoE Plus and Starlink is this. Regular PoE, white, orange, so pin 1, pin 2, pin 4, and pin 5 are positive. Pin 3, 6, 7, and 8 are negative. Now look, this is flipped over here for Starlink. 1, 2, 3 and six are positive, and then four, five, seven, and eight are negative, okay? So as you can see, Starlink is different from the standard 802.3BT standard, okay? So there's gonna be devices out there that you're gonna try to use this with that will not like that at all, and it might pop them, or it might short your plant out, or do all sorts of wonderful things that you guys weren't hoping for. So now let's take this thing apart and uh, see what we've got inside. All right, I love that this thing's got little Allen keys. We call these Allens here in Canada. I think that you guys call them hex keys in the, in the United States and elsewhere. They might also be called Allens and, oh, I got cheese on my finger. I just ate lunch. Here we go. There we go. Yeah, my hands are that fucking strong that I can just do that with just the bit. So let's tr crack this open. This almost looks like a Drock board, so I wouldn't doubt that this was made in the same factory as a lot of Drock electronics. So we've got positive, negative, and ground here. You can see 150 watt PoE, uh, where does this say it? 150 watt 4P PoE right there. You can see that you can change out the three amp fuse there if you want to. In fact, with that type of socketing for the fuse right here, it would not be hard to put in your own fuse holder and change it out to a tubular fuse. Over here, we've got the uh, coupling section for the grounding. As you can see, there's our transformer. It's gigabit. And these are all gas discharge tubes. GDTs, that's a TVS. The TVS is on the positive to the uh, ground there for taking any kind of discharge. And the GDTs are on the pins to earth, okay? So this has uh, two-stage protection, essentially, maybe even three-stage protection. And as you can see, you've also got the pins right here. You can see, if I tilt that the right way, uh, voltage plus one, two, three, six, voltage minus four, five, seven, eight, just down below. Come on, focus. There we go, like that. So, but yeah, the silk screening on this thing really screams Drock, D R O K. Um, so, yeah, there's really not much to it. There's really not much I can test with this because just looking at the traces, yes, this could easily handle five amps. But, um, yeah, that's all there is to this little thing is a teardown. Now, this thing's specifically meant for camper vans or, you know, a cottage or off-grid situation where you need to power a Starlink uh, device, okay? So what a lot of people are doing is they're getting these guys here, which is a DC to DC converter that converts from uh, 12 volts, 24 volts DC to uh, 48 volts DC to feed something like this. Now... This guy here, I would not try to use it on any of your radios. Uh, most of you are probably using Ubiquiti. Uh, if you're watching my channel, you're probably watching uh, using Ubiquiti because you're probably smaller carriers that don't have a lot of money to afford top shelf items like, um, you know, Cyclu or Nokia or Saragon or Telrad. So, that being said, yes, look at the pinout on these guys. This will tell you what the pinout is on here. You can match that to the pinout on the spec sheet of your radio equipment that you intend to use this with. But this looks like it's only for Starlink. And that's all I can really say. There we go. There's your, your PoE device. 